Welcome back to Balloon Animals by Mike Alpha. Now I'm going to show you an advanced variation on a ladybug and a turtle. I saw this new balloon design for a uh, ladybug bla bracelet that was really cool and I just had to try and make it. It uses a black balloon, a red balloon, a scrap of a white, and a purple balloon for the antenna. So you want to take a red balloon, <clears throat> put a little bit of air in it. You're not going to use the whole balloon, so don't worry about blowing it all the way up. The black balloon, you want just a little bit more than a hand's width. About a six, seven finger bubble. And a scrap of a white. What you want to do is just make two eyes about an inch and a half long. Lock them together, pushing the nut through. Then tie the two ends together. About the rest of the balloon. Take your black balloon. And make three small bubbles for the head. About half inch bubbles, three quarter inch bubbles. Lock them together. Wrap the knot around to create a pinch twist. And then pinch twist the other two small bubbles. in front of our ladybug <clears throat> with the rest of the balloon make four small segments equal segments so you're going to make three twists just make them about the same size with whatever you have left in your balloon Wrap the tail around the head. <clears throat> Just lock it in real good. Take your red balloon. Make a half inch bubble and then twist it. Then lock that pinch twist at the back these four bubbles. The back joint. Just twist it around to lock it in. Then make a bubble with your red slightly longer than the four. Slightly longer than the four black bubbles. And wrap that around the head, the, the three pinch twists. And just lock it in. And bring it to the back. Make another bubble the same size. Twist it into the pinch twist at the back. Then snip the tail of the balloon. I 
I like to tie a knot here just to make sure there's no air leaks out. Tie a knot at the base of the last bubble. And stretch, stretch the red balloon between the four black bubbles for the feet. And wrap it around the head. Then take the end of the tail, which is snipped off, and just tie it around the pinch twist in the back. Pull it through the black bubbles to lock it in. And just tuck it inside <clears throat> in between the two red bubbles just to hide it. This makes our bracelet for us. Take the black, the leftover black tail with the hair still in it and bring it over the, the two red bubbles. This will be the, the black line in between the, the shell of the ladybug. You just wrap it around, wrap it around the pinch twist and pull it back to the front and tie it into the head. So I'm just I'm just stretching the rest of it. And wrapping around the head just to get rid of it. But I want to leave the air in it so you can see it in between the, the black bubbles. Now take your eyes and just twist them around the head. <clears throat> now take your purple balloon. Stretch out, stretch out the uh, tail of it because you want to put a little bubble at the end. So tie your knot here close to your bubble. I'm not going to use the whole balloon, you can leave a long knot. <coughs> Put this bubble in half. And hold the tip where you want the air to go in at. Don't squeeze it closed, just tight enough to pull it. <clears throat> and stretch. Stretch the balloon. And squeeze the air out of this bubble into the tip. It takes a little practice to learn how to do that. But what we have now is a bubble on each end of our balloon. Go ahead and, and snip off the rest of the, the knot. Now I'm taking find the center of this this bubble here, of this balloon, and wrap it around the head. And just pull it up in between the eyes and behind the eyes. <clears throat> and take your sharpie marker and draw 
Draw the eyes on the ladybug. That. And then just make some black circles in their shoe. Color in there. There we have our ladybug. And as you can see, it can be a bracelet. A lot cooler than the basic uh, 